Hey beauties, welcome back to VLB Halloween. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get this neon, glittery, girly skull look for Halloween. This is really face paint heavy and tons of glitter is involved in this look. I thought it was really awesome because it really incorporates that royal feel into it. And I'm so obsessed with doing skull looks, so I think this is pretty BA. And if you will love this look, be sure you like this video and smash that subscribe button right now for more looks. And if you guys would like to see how I got this blinged out royal skull look, then please keep on watching. Alright, so I'm first going to moisturize my skin with my Derma E Vitamin C Moisturizer. And I'm just going to be hydrating right here, applying this all over my face first. And next we're going to be prepping our skin with primer, and I'm going to be using my MAC Cosmetics Skin Base. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over the face just like I did with the moisturizer. And this is really going to protect our skin from any paint getting into our pores, which you definitely don't want. So I'm going to be using my Sonic Blend foundation brush, and you can purchase this brush at Ulta. I absolutely love it because it comes with all of these goodies for charging and storing and traveling. And also, it's just really cute because it's pink and it applies foundation really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and apply mine and then go in and blend it out using this brush. This brush actually vibrates, so it gives a really nice, smooth finish to the skin. And it feels really good too on the face. It's very gentle and soft. So I've been using it for my foundation and face paint lately. I'm going to go over my brows because I actually forgot to glue them back at the beginning of this look. But you can glue them back after you have foundation on. Just be really light with that glue. It's a little better if you do it before your foundation. And I'm just going to go ahead and use some concealer to go ahead and cover up those brows. Lock them away. Because usually for skull looks, you really don't want any brows for that look. If you're going for a look like this. So here I'm going to be going in with a white face powder just to seal them back. And I like to do this because it really mattifies the brow and gives it a nice smooth finish. And I'm using my MAC powder for that. Now for the eyes, we're going to be doing some classic school eyes but using vibrant colors. And I'm going to be using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. Going in with yellow first, then orange. And we're going to be just going around the eyes with this color doing the traditional skull shape on the eyes. So yellow, orange, and then you want to grab some pink and apply that just like you did with the other colors. I also used purple, blue, green. I used all different colors for this. I wanted this to be super neon and almost like rainbow skull eyes. And the best way to blend this is just using like a fluffy brush. And here I'm just blending that away using my Sonic Blend brush, just making sure the edges are really clean. And then we're going to go in the waterline with a black eyeliner, and we're just going to go ahead and smoke this out down there using a purple shadow, and then I layered in some black as well to get it nice and smoky. And now we're going to be sticking on some glitter, so I'm using glitter from the Gypsy Shrine, and I think they have awesome, awesome glitter. Super chunky and very, very glittery. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all around the eyes. I wanted very glittery skull eyes, so I went all around with this. I did also apply some glitter from Violet Boss as well mixed in. I'm next going to go ahead and start creating these indentions around the eyes. We're just going to kind of create the shape of the bone. And most skulls usually have this bone popping out on the face. This is where the brow bone is. And I wanted to give this skull a lot of character by adding it in. And we're going to go ahead and shade that out first and then apply a water activated black paint next. So I'm going to go ahead and start creating the hollows in the skull. I've done a few skull looks before this, so I wanted to make this one really different than my other ones so far that I did for BLB Halloween. So I really over-exaggerated these hollows out to make them really, really deep. And I filled them in with the black water-activated paint. I added in some fun little characteristics around the skull just to kind of accent that brow bone. And then I added in some cracks as well because skulls typically do have cracks here and there. And I made these really comic-like by making them really big. And I like to do this with a lot of my looks, just kind of over-exaggerate everything and make it really, really pronounced so it gives a really fun vibe to it. So here I'm just going in with purple and pink eyeshadow and I'm just shading around those cracks, as well as using black right into the base of each crack. I'm going to be using a lot of products from the Gypsy Shrine for this look because I was really inspired by their Instagram feed and their looks seen on their page. So I used these face decals and now I'm going to go ahead and go in and start shading in the forehead just to add some depth to the look like it's very hollow in that area. And now I'm going to go ahead and start drawing in the mouth area as well. So I'm using a white eyeliner first to draw in those lines that we're going to be filling in with black later. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the teeth. So I'm just using white water activated paint to do them and I wanted them to be pretty square and I wanted lots and lots of teeth. So I just dotted these out using a lot more water than I usually use for the paint just to kind of make it pretty thin. 
and also just adding in that white in certain teeth to make them a little bit more pronounced. So some of them are more white than others. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that blank area that we lined with white. Now I'm gonna line it with the black water activated paint and start to fill in these back teeth. You wanna line them out and only those back few. You don't wanna line the front with this, just the back ones and you wanna round out the front of the mouth so you can get that base going. And here you can see I'm just shading in that bottom area. And you can repeat this step to the other side of the skull mouth. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in some extra teeth just because I felt like I didn't have enough and I'm just using that white water activated paint again. And using some black eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and take this on an angled brush and start lining out the front teeth of the skull. And what I'm going to do is just drag this upwards so it gives a nice sharp effect like it's coming off the bone. I took some black eyeshadow and started to shade out these back teeth to give them a more 3D effect. This is going to really round out the mouth and give dimension to the skull. So you want to really hit those back teeth with a lot of black shadow and then slowly cascade into white teeth. Here I'm going to be applying some blue eyeshadow, some pink and purple, just into the cracks of the teeth to give that neon feel that we're going for for this skull. And then I'm going to go ahead and start filling in that chin area. I just drew this out first and I'm going to come back to it later. I'm using some tag body paint here, the blue neon color, to add some characteristics to the skull and just kind of outline it. This kind of gave me pop art vibes in a way, but I really liked how it looked, so I decided to go with this feel. We got neon looks going on, lots of colors, and just lots of shading here and there. I'm going to go ahead and do the skull nose. I wanted to do this kind of unproportionate, and here you can see I'm going in and creating that kind of disproportionate nose. And now I'm going to go in using that same brush with the black water activated paint and just line over that neon blue. I wanted to add some distress under the eyes, so then I lined that with the blue paint as well. And then filled in the chin using that black water activated paint so it could make it look like that piece of the skull was missing. Now I'm going to go onto the forehead with some black eyeshadow and shade that out some more. And for the teeth, I wanted some glitter teeth, so I laid down some really sticky glitter at first that's going to help cling on to the larger, chunkier Gypsy Shrine glitter next. I filled in each individual tooth with this glitter, and next I'm just going to go in with that Gypsy Shrine glitter I used on my eyes. And I'm just going to fill that in on my teeth, on my nose, on my chin. And this glitter is really, really fun because it just looks so holographic and shimmers so beautifully in dim light. So if you are going to a Halloween party, or if you're going anywhere on Halloween, you're going to be painting your face. I would recommend using this glitter because it is so, so pretty. I am so obsessed with it. I think it's probably my favorite glitter I've ever used. So here I'm just going in and filling in the teeth with it using a small brush. And I just feel like this gives a more glamorous, beautiful kind of royal look to the skull, which is what I was going for. I was like, neon, royal, something really cool like that and very bold. That's what I wanted for this look. And it's definitely what I envisioned and I think it's super fun for Halloween. And you can see this glitter actually has like stars in it and different shapes, which makes it super, super fun. So here I'm going to be creating some dimension on the skull by using a hot pink eyeshadow. And I'm just going to go ahead and shade all around, typically around the blue areas that I laid down that tag paint. And also around the bridge of the nose and just on the jawline. And I'm strategically placing this so it really pops that color. Now I'm going to be using my Aurora Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using the shade Luna to highlight the skull. And I'm just going around the mouth with this color to add some dimension to it. And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight the skull using white to water activated body paint. I'm using this on a really thin brush from Delium Tools. And I'm going to go ahead and just highlight underneath all the black areas that we lined out. This is going to really help make the skull pop forward and give it tons of dimension and different shapes to different areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and false lashes, and then popping on my favorite feather lashes and just sticking those right on to complete the eye look. So now we're gonna move on to body. I'm gonna be using some pieces from the Gypsy Shrine and I'm just using this chest piece right on the center of the body. And this is the skeleton chest piece. 
I'm gonna go ahead and line my neck and really shade it out using some Mehron metallic silver body paint. And I'm going all the way down the neck and I'm actually gonna be dripping this paint down my chest next, right over those stones. I'm using a lot of water for this and just pressing the brush right up against my skin so it drips down really beautifully and just so it's not too much, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on that drip and moving my body around where I want it to drip. So to apply the glitter next, I'm going to be using some Diamond Glow Oil from Redken. And this is pretty sticky, so it's going to help adhere that glitter. And this glitter is from the Gypsy Shrine again. And this is super holographic. This is the same one I used on my eyes. So this is going to give a nice shine to the look. Nice glitter body, really similar to my Glitter Girl look. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply some Tag Body Paint Drips over that silver. And I'm using the neon pink in the same manner I did with the silver body paint. I'm just pressing up against the skin and I'm letting that drip down. So you want to really kind of press deeply into the skin and let that drip down the neck. I'm going to pop in my Halloween contacts, of course. I went for some blue ones because I felt like they really accented all that blue in this makeup. And now to pop on that wig. I'm loving the short wig. I think it is so, so cute. I'm obsessed. And then I popped on a crown for a royal feel. And you can kind of adjust it how you want it here. And then popping on these earrings that actually came with my Gypsy Shrine glitter and decals. I think these are super cute and they looked awesome with the look. Alright beauties, I hope you guys love this blinged out skull look. If you did love it, be sure you like this video, subscribe for more looks. Thank you all for tuning in to VLB Halloween, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Peace out.